I got a license to kill, and you know it's going straight to your heart. Oh. Mm. Got a license to kill anyone who tries to tear us apart. Yeah. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. What did I miss, though? If I were your woman and you were my man, you have no other woman. You be weak as a lamb. If you had the strength to walk out that door, my love would overrule my sins, and I call you back for more. If I were your woman, and you were my man, y'all remember that shot? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Well, as y'all already know, I'm hyped and I wanted to make this uh video after after verses. And now that was all this that was the singing that went on in my youth. Okay. Um I'm a product of the uh, uh 70s, early that's that's my heyday. With Earth, Wind, and Fire, I think I was um, maybe 17. You know, y'all know what it's like when you a uh, teenager. So the, the 70s um, and Gladys Knight, really, it was really Gladys Knight in the 70s. Even though Patty, Patty came, um, even though she was out with the Bluebells in the 60s. Let me just give y'all a little history lesson. Even though she was out in the 60s with the Bluebells, um, in fact, um, Diana Ross stole Cindy Bird's song from the Bluebells and Patty. And Patty um, had, um, what was the Bluebells' big hit? I'll never hear the bells if you need me. I'll never, no, no, no. Remember that? But, and, and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Okay, that was like the 60s, though. Okay? So, really, if you want to know the truth, um, I'm going to tell you who ran the 70s. That was Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight ran the 70s, and Gladys Knight is who, um, you know, there was, to me, there's no winner and losers. It's just that I'm glad to see them out bringing back good music. And I know a lot of y'all blunt babies was like, what is this? I can't have it. Because y'all was just used to hearing uh, all the intimacy split. Don't leave nothing to the imagination. Y'all just want to lay it all out there like a smorgasbord. And then, you know, it ain't nothing fancy no more to me. Flies all on it. Everything. You know, there's nothing covering until it's time. You understand? And I think that's what that music uh, did for me. I, it just gave me life. It took me back to my teenage years. Um, I want to know oh, when Gladys Knight did the soundtrack from Claudine, which is one of my favorite movies. I think it's my all-time favorite movie, Claudine. Uh, but she couldn't do To Be Invisible would be my claim to fame. A girl with no name. That way I won't have to feel any pain. Indispensable. Just a plain old human being. Life don't mean a thing. In a world that's so mean. All the things that hurt you so. No one will ever know. Because I'll be invisible. Oh, okay, listen. I'm done. Curtis Mayfield, Claudine soundtrack, Gladys Knight at the helm. It was too much. It was too much. And in case y'all don't know, I'm still fired up. I just want to thank y'all. I want to thank you, Gladys. I want to thank you, 
Patty for timeless music, real music, music that made you want to fall in love, music that you fell in love to, music that you thought you'd never get out of love to. <laughs> And it's just being alive. I was here for it. Y'all gave me my life last night. And I just want y'all to know that I appreciate it so much. And I want to know how y'all feel. I don't want to hear if you want to know if you've got a winner or a loser. Because I, to me, that ain't what it's about. To me, it's about comparing catalogs. How can you compare a rose, a white rose to a red rose? An apple to an orange? They're all God's uh beautiful creatures and creations and um with the individual flavor to it and um so for me as an artist it's not even about who's the best it's just like um wow y'all did the damn thing and i want to say whoever's in the damn comments y'all 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 too crazy that's all i can say about black people black twitter Somebody said, somebody said, because I mean, it was a star studded audience. I saw Oprah and I saw Oprah's magazine. Um, I think the uh Michelle Obama, all everybody you could just think of was in the room. Um Nicole Ari Parker, um uh, uh um what's the boy's name? The producer in Atlanta, Georgia, uh Jermaine Dupree. I mean it was just it was full. It was full. And one of them fools on there said, now, and I, cause I could just hear it in my mind, cause I know how black people do. Somebody said, now, how Oprah gonna be in here and her news and her magazine? <laughs> now, that might not be, that might ain't be funny, y'all, cause some of the most stupidest crap is funny to me. I laughed, I laughed because I said, you stupid. Whoever you was that said that, y'all crazy. Talking about how is, uh, oh, how Oprah going to be in here and her magazine? <laughs> well, they both were there, and they both was getting it in. So I want to thank the, the queens last night. I want to thank the classics, the classic, the royalty last night. Last night, y'all had a chance to actually watch royalty. And we have to do what our royalty, like the dominant society, does with their royalty. I mean, nobody is telling Barbara Streisand to sit down. Barbara Streisand come out and sing when she get when she want to, but she get paid. You know, um, a lot of our, um, um, of course, entertainers have to die broke because they found some people have found a way to get all into their finances. I'm not saying that's what's going on with these women. I'm just saying that we need to honor our royalty too. And they come out when they want to or when we ask them to do us a service and to bless us with their gifts. Because God knows I appreciate it. And I want to know how each and every one of y'all felt last night when y'all saw Gladys Knight and um, um, <laughs> and Patty LaBelle. I ain't even going to say nothing about Dion Warwick. I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Somebody said she was invited, so I'm not going. In, I'm not gonna say nothing about that, and it's not necessary. Okay, so y'all leave me your comments, and also tell me what you, who you would like to see in the next verses. What 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 would be your idea? Me? Somebody said Anita Baker. I'm like y'all better come with it. Tell me Anita and shot they nip nip. Anita got too much. You know, hang on. To you love. I mean, Sade got a few of them, but she ain't gonna be in the ballpark with Anita, so you might as well just put that down. Really. And we're gonna have to find somebody for you, Anita, because right now, the only person I could do, I had to go to the graveyard and dig up Sarah Vaughn. And, you know, no disrespect, but I don't think y'all want that one. So we're gonna figure that one out for Anita. Shaka Khan, we gotta get one, we gotta get somebody for you too. You know, uh, we're going we're gonna to figure that one out. And if I think about it, I'll be back with another comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave y'all comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.